Morning guys, so we're gonna go Christmas shopping. It is three days before Christmas. We haven't done any shopping for family apart from Little Cadence. So we need to get out, get it done. Uh, it is actually raining in Las Vegas right now. First time in probably months. Actually a very, very long time. So hopefully it snows. Um, and also I do have a new lens on the camera. It's a 35 millimeter, so it's a lot more zoomed in on me. I just want to try it out, try something different. It seems to be a lot smoother. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. So let's get to it. So the one thing I do like about this lens it's on automatic. I always shoot my vlogs on automatic, but the depth of field on it is insane for automatic. Like, I'm not, like I said, it's not manual, it's automatic. And I'm just goofing around here on the dogs. And it's just a really nice lens and it's super smooth. And I'm really excited to see what I can do with this thing. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be super sharp and it's pulling focus like instantly. So oh, I'm very <laughs> pumped about this lens. Hopefully I'll be able to get some really cool shots with it. And Kaden's just told me she wants me to do some practice shots on her. In the sled, which ended up being a house toy that we didn't get to use yesterday. So we'll just goof around with that right now. <laughs> yeah. Keep it still. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this lens. I sold my old Canon T5i. Um, the price I got for the Canon pay for a single lens. So I'm expecting it to be pretty cool. All right, let's go. So it's pouring down today. I'm from Australia. This is completely, utterly normal, probably 30% of the year. For Las Vegas, it's probably like one or 2% of the year. But it's good for something different. Whoa. 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 Holy shit. Oh. We just missed a car. That car just by off. a millimeter. Jesus. Holy shit. Krista literally just jumped on the brakes. Don't put the camera down. There's a car behind us. Missed the car. Right, I don't want people to think we're like filming. By a millimeter. The car slammed up. Wow. Right. It is raining, it is slippery, it's wet. The car in front of us just jumped on its brakes. <laughs> My brakes weren't working, did you feel And right? our brakes just kind of jacked up. It de definitely didn't feel right. And she missed by, a, literally, I would say, like a centimeter. It was so freaking close. I thought that was going to be my first car accident. I thought we were going to hit 100%. Can you put that <laughs> was, was that close or what? <laughs> Can you put the camera down, please? <laughs> Trista does. <laughs> I Can wish I had the camera that way. So after a lot, a lot, a lot of detouring and a very long drive and a very close car accident, we finally made it to Fashion Show Mall. So now we're going to put up all the crowds trying to do some Christmas shopping. And we finally made it inside the mall. It's busy, but it's not too busy. It should be fine. So hopefully we get in and get out. How are you enjoying your shopping experience? You get bored already? Yeah. Yeah, so is Daddy. Already. We're shopping. We're shopping for girly stuff after 10 minutes. Ken and I are already bored. So we've got to find something to do. Three presents down. Have fun. 20 more to go. So we got a croc shop. If anyone goes there for Christmas for me, there is serious trouble. So the problem with vlogging while Christmas shopping is uh, you can't show what you're shopping for, you can't show what bags you're carrying. I can't put Krista in it because she's holding Christmas presents. Okay, so I think I've got about three vlogs of you where you push the glass like that. It's like you think you're pushing the thing along. So there's a cool little walkway thing here which overlooks pretty much the whole mall. You can see every single level 
can even see the casinos out here it's actually a pretty cool view K for cadence. Can you say cadence? <laughs> cadence. You like it? Do you want a poop emoji? Do you want one of these? Yeah. Ew, yucky. That's poop. Yeah, is that yucky? Yeah, you want to sleep on that? Yeah. So I'm just distracting cadence while Mama gets some, gets some presents for her that she doesn't understand luckily. So let's kill some time. So it's not the most exciting day, but it's a great way of testing out this lens. And I'm really enjoying it. It's a really nice image. So it's definitely gonna be my go-to lens for a while now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I've had a lot of people message me on Snapchat, on YouTube, asking me what type of gear I use, like my cameras, equipment, uh, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go through each individual piece of gear that I use, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and just give it a quick little rundown. So first thing of all, iPhone 6 Plus. Um, I use that to vlog probably my first like 25 vlogs. I was up like this, I'm not sure you can see. Um, and I was vlogging with my iPhone and that was the only thing. I did have a Rebel 25i, but the autofocus is absolutely horrible, it sucked. It took so much time and effort to pull it out, get it in focus, and just, I hate the messing around. So I used it maybe on one vlog, maybe half a vlog. But the beauty of the iPhone is it's always on me, 24 seven. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, it's always in my pocket, it's always charged, it's always ready to go. So I use that a lot. Um, the things I liked about it, it's got a time lapse. 99% of my time lapses I use in my vlog, uh, my vlogs are shot with, with my iPhone. Just because, like I said, it's always on me, it's always ready to go. Um, the thing I don't like about it is the audio wasn't very good. I found I had to talk at, at a different high level, different decibel. I was always over talking. And then when I was editing, I was always pulling the volume up and it was just more time consuming. And I, it was a loud environment. I was always worried about the audio not being up to par. Um, I absolutely recommend starting with your iPhone. Absolutely. It's small, it's convenient, it's always on you. It's always charged, it's always ready to go. It does slow motion, does time lapses and it's just a great vlogging camera and you can have it where you see yourself at the same time. And just while I'm on the subject with my iPhone, uh, my iPhone popped out of a holder when I was shooting a time lapse about at least a month ago. So the whole screen is completely shattered and cracked, but the phone still works and I'm still using it to vlog. It was a lot harder to see, especially with the sun reflection on it, but yeah, it worked. It's no excuse like, oh, my phone was broken, blah, blah, blah. My phone still works, it's cracked, it's harder, but I still used it and I still make sure I put that content, that content out um, on a consistent basis. All right, so my next camera is a DJI Osmo Pro. So it's a DJI Osmo, which is just a basic camera. I think it's about a $500 camera. And then I've actually got this one, which is an upgrade. So this camera here detaches. It's the same camera which attaches to my drone, to my Inspire One which makes Inspire One Pro. So I put this, attach this onto my Osmo. So it's, if you haven't seen one of these, a funny little gimbal-y looking thing, but the beauty about it is it's on a three axis gimbal, which pretty much means that I can run, walk, anything, and the footage is completely smooth. There's no bobbing, there's no walking, like it's just so smooth and convenient. Uh, the things I like about this is I use a 45mm lens So it's a fixed lens with 45mm So pretty much what that means it really it really allows me to get that depth of field So it allows me to really focus in on a subject and just completely blur out, uh, blur out the background 
And this is the setup I use for pretty much 90% of my cinematic shots that I do through my vlogs. Um, I just throw it in my backpack, I have it in my backpack, I take it everywhere I go, and then when I need to do, when, sorry, when I want to do my cinematic shots, pull my backpack up, pull it out, set it up, um, but the footage looks really good, so it's worth it. So things I like about it is, it's, it's super smooth, it's, the shots look amazing. All my shots I'm shooting 60 frames a second, so I'm halving the speed, which just gives that kind of more cinematic, dramatic, like beautiful looking shots. Uh, the things I don't like about it is, it's just funky, it's weird to put down on the ground. Uh, when it's on, you've got to hold it the whole time. You can't put it down while the power's off, while the power's on, because it'll burn out the gimbal, it'll actually destroy the camera. Another thing I don't like about it, it takes time to set up. I gotta pull my phone out, I gotta slot my phone in here, then I gotta turn my phone on, connect the Wi-Fi, and it's just time consuming and a little bit fiddly and awkward, but yeah, you do what you gotta do, and this is a camera I mainly use for anything I do, but um, I don't know, I like it, but you know, there's, there's pros and cons of everything. But I definitely recommend the DJI Osmo, just the basic version, the X3 version. This is the X5. Uh, like I said, it's about $499 right now. It's just a really good camera for um, just getting nice, smooth shots, um, kind of cinematic type shots. Another thing I don't like about this is the audio sucks. The fan, because it's trying to keep itself cool with all the gimbals moving around, the fan makes a lot of noise. It can um, interrupt your audio. But um, as far as cinematic, smooth shots, yeah, highly recommend it. Okay, so my last camera. So this is my main go-to camera right now. And by the way, I'm shooting this piece of footage on my iPhone because this is my vlogging camera. So my vlogging camera, which I take everywhere, this is my go-to camera now, Sony A6500. So it's a brand new camera. Um, I think it only came out about a month ago. It's a mirrorless camera, but the thing I really like about this is the autofocus is amazing. It is spot on so consistently. I can be in, out, side, side, and it just pulls focus pretty much instantly the whole time. And when you're vlogging and you're kind of all over the place, you turn your camera, you're all over the place, and it, you can't actually put turn the screen and see yourself. So it's really nice to know that you're always in focus. The low light's really good on this, so I can throw this on automatic, and it just pulls focus, the lighting's amazing, and the camera just does an amazing job. Uh, things I don't like about it, uh, not really much at the moment. Like, obviously, the camera's a decent price, it's not too expensive, but you need to get different lenses for different focal lengths to do different things. Like um, like when I started the vlog today, like I just got a new lens. The lens alone was a $450 lens, the same price as my whole T5i was. Um, but being able to change lenses allows you to do a lot more. It's gonna allow me to do a lot different cinematic type stuff. It shoots really, really good slow motion. It shoots really good in low light. It allows me to attach external mic on top, so I never have to worry about the audio. But occasionally I do forget to turn the, um, the mic on, and with that plugged in and the mic off, the, I get absolutely no audio. So I actually lost like three or four clips today because I was stupid enough to leave the mic off. Um, and so pretty much what I'm doing is taking this, holding this in hand pretty much all day every day, i got a backpack where I throw my Osmo on my backpack. Uh, I have just a, a Joby type bendy mount tripod. I have a little phone holder which attaches to the tripod. And just my batteries and just a few lenses. And I pretty much just throw that on my back, take that everywhere I go, have this on my shoulder, on my hand, ready to shoot at all times. And to be honest, it's really annoying having to carry all the gear around. And then I've got my drone on top of that, which is just, I don't shoot with my drone anywhere near as much as I like to because 
it's just so big and chunky and professional. It's just not worth the effort half the time. And I'm already trying to go that extra level compared to everybody else and add those cinematic shots consistently and really try to up my game compared to what most people are doing. Uh, but hence, that's why I talked about the other day, trying to get a smaller, more convenient drone. All right, so I won't go on about this too much longer. So the main thing I want to get across is this is equipment I use. Uh, this is where I use equipment in different scenarios. If you've got any questions about this stuff, feel free to ask me anything you want. Any other cameras you're looking at, any other questions, yeah, definitely love to help you guys. Um, but the main thing to remember is it doesn't matter what type of gear you've got. I started with a really basic camera and I'm slowly building my way up. There's, there's no point buying something big and expensive straight away because you're not going to know how to use it properly, you're not going to know the settings properly, you're not going to know how to utilize it to its full potential. So start simple, start basic, but actually start. The sooner you start, the sooner you start learning, the sooner you start learning from your mistakes and getting better and better each day. And I just want to touch on one more thing. So I used to, I used to film every single day. I'd fly the drone, I'd use my Osmo, I'd shoot, and I wouldn't really have anywhere to upload it, but I just loved doing it. And now since starting this YouTube channel, it's, it's amazing because eventually I want to get to the point where I'm doing a daily vlog every single day and it seemed, oh, that's such a big task, it's so unachievable. But I began to realize that I was shooting every single day anyway. But I wasn't really creating a story, I wasn't really putting it together. I was just doing little videos here and there just for the sake of it. But now I've got a purpose, now I've got a platform, and now I've got somewhere that forces me to be creative. It pushes me, it challenges me, it makes me take myself to the next level because I love to be challenged. And I'm getting better day by day, every single day doing these vlogs. Like I can feel myself getting better. My editing's getting more precise. I feel like my editing's getting better. Um, and honestly, I'm just loving the process and I'm loving the support and thanks for watching. And I can't wait to continue. I'm up to vlog, I think 32. Uh, it's amazing. I've got so many cool memories of my family, especially little Cadence. Even in a year's time when she's like nearly four and the videos from her too. It's crazy, it's so exciting. So thanks again, like I said, any questions, hit me up and yeah, look out for the next vlog. Thanks, bye.